Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Seb de la Web, back with another Flat Zone theme and WooCommerce tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about the checkout experience. Uh, we have been taking a look at the big players uh, in the e-commerce industry and to see what they really do well in terms of the cart pop-up, also the cart page and also the checkout page, of course. And uh, we all really like Shopify checkout experience, of course. They've done a really great job. But there's a lot of possibilities within uh, WooCommerce and Flatsome. And today I'm going to show you what you can do to optimize it even better. So let's dive in. Let's get started. I'm going to use our product page pack. Uh, it's a pre-made design bundle with a great product page layout. And... Um, Here's where the customer journey starts in a way. They, they are seeing the product, they make a selection if there's a variation, and then they click on the Add to Cart button. And then there are various ways of showing the pop-up, the, the cart pop-up. Either you have like this small pop-up or you have the drawer. And I'm just going to open up the theme options to show you how you can modify and which one is, to, uh, which one is the best fit for your uh, shop. So I'm going to open up header. And then I'm going to click on the cart settings gear. And once I've clicked that, I, this will open up, giving me a lot of options. And as you can see, I can choose between the drop down or the cart drawer, or I can go directly to the cart page. And I have even created the snippet uh, that will take your customer directly to the checkout. And that is only interested if you're selling a specific product, if you're uh, shop is entirely focused on a single product, then that can be really beneficial. Uh, for now, I'm only going to focus on the drop down and the drawer. And as you can see in my preview, this is the drop down. And this is very good because you don't really need to click and you directly see what is in your cart without clicking. With the drawer, you need to click first be before you see the drawer. However, uh, with the drop down, you're a little bit limited in terms of what you can show. With the drawer, you have much more capabilities. And this is a client. And as you can see, this is the drawer giving you uh, the option to show the free shipping even better. Uh, you can do cross selling and you can also do uh, some extra. Uh, um, you have even extra space to insert a UX block showing like Trustpilot or even payment icons. So that is actually the real difference between the cart um, drop down and the cart drawer. So it's more up to you. I would recommend if you really want to emphasize on your cross sellings and even on your free shipping, I would recommend giving yourself some extra space by choosing the drawer. And if you want to keep it minimalized or minimized and very lightweight, I would go for the drop down. All right, having said that, uh, there are some cart icon styles doesn't really matter for this tutorial purpose, so it's more up to you. Uh, I would choose the second one and then choose between one of those icons. Um, one of the uh, things that I think is very important to hide is the card totals, because your customer doesn't really want to know what they are spending. So you can see that, uh, for example, at Zalando, uh, but also on uh, Amazon, uh, that they're not showing the numbers, so the card totals next to the card inside the header. So I would recommend sh not showing it and leaving uh, uh, leaving it into uh, leaving it blank or just not confronting your customer with the amount that they're spending. Showing the card title will only show the card title is not really needed because people are very aware of the fact that this card art icon is taking them to the card. All right, so one of the other settings is make sure to auto reveal the mini cart because once somebody added something, uh, added a product, then the mini cart will automatically open up. Uh, showing the quantity input, I think that is only important. I've enabled it now. As you can see, people can directly uh, change the quantity. And I think it's beneficial if it's very most likely if people are going to order more than one item. However, uh, if, if that isn't the case, if you're not selling so many different products, I will just leave it out. Because if you leave it out here, they will still have the feature when they go to the view cart section where they can still modify the quantity. So maybe just keeping it very lightweight and hiding it within the cart pop-up. So that's up to you, but I did want to mention it. And then we have the custom content after cart. And I've uh, created a different video. I'm going to put the link here in the YouTube video now. 
and that will show you how you can get custom content, important custom content within your Aftercard. Meaning, let me show you again, this is another client, what I have created and they have a lot of cross sales so you don't really see the trust pilot and the payment icons. However, if you don't have that many cross sell products, you directly show your visitor, uh, giving them more trust and even showing them their preferable uh, payment provider. All right, having said that, uh, I think that covers everything. This is more mini card related. You could uh, make it sticky, meaning that, the, that this lower part is always sticky on the bottom. I think that is a good practice, so keep that enabled. And you could you know, choose to show your cross sales or not showing uh, the cross sales that are related to certain products. All right, so we have covered everything in terms of the pop-up. Let's get into the cart. So let's say people first go and visit their cart. So this is what they see. And the reason why it looks so good is that I've created custom CSS. And we have that available for our Access Plus members where we create uh, tons of great tutorials, even with CSS, to optimize the checkout with custom styling. Uh, if you're interested, have a look at our Access Plus area where you can get a membership to even optimize a lot of your stuff, your WooCommerce shop, with our pre-made uh, designs, but also our code snippets and CSS. Um, all right. So to optimize this, let me show you the options. And the fastest way is to go to your cart, click on the Customize button, and that will open up uh, the card settings. And if it doesn't, sometimes you need to click again and again. So again, WooCommerce card, and that will take you to the card settings. So let's just dive in one by one. So this is the default setup. And I would recommend to keep the default setup if it's most likely again, that people are going to shop more. If you're offering the free shipping, then it's really good for people to have the header navigation so they can still navigate to a product category, continue their shopping uh, journey. However, if, it's, if you want to minimize the distraction, then I would go for simple because then they're already into the funnel and they don't get too many distractions where they can click on header related items. They can only go back to the shop by clicking on the logo. Uh, the focus design, I personally don't really like because you get a kind of box layout. So again, I would choose simple or default. It's up to you. And uh, for now, I will go for simple because that is what uh, Shopify more or less also does. All right, going back. So sticky sidebar, don't really see the difference here. It's only, it's only visible when you have a lot of products in your cart than this little... Uh, uh, Sidebar will stay sticky all the time. And that's only really beneficial on desktop. Box shipping labels, you don't really see them now, but it's only good if you are, for example, offering more different shipping companies. So more different shipping methods. Here in the Netherlands, we have different ones and I have some bad experience with certain ones. So I always choose my preferable uh, shipping uh, delivery company. Uh, so if you have more shipping uh, options, then I would emphasize in boxing them because that will highlight them even more. I cannot really show you because this is a dummy uh, uh, shop, but mm, make sure to highlight it uh, if it's needed to emphasize them. Showing the shipping estimate to destination. So you can see that there's, um, I don't really think it's needed in this stage. So, and show free shipping, it's up to you if you want to uh, show that, especially when you really um, focusing on that, I mean, it's 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 a true, it's really a good practice if if uh, if they get the free shipping and they are you know most likely to to get a little bit more into their basket, into their cart to make sure they get the free shipping. So, and then the steps. I'm not sure why people shouldn't wouldn't do this because it's uh, it's not selected by default in Flatsome. But these are the steps, as you can see here. And if the step numbers are not selected, you don't see the, you don't see that one, two, three. So I would really recommend because that shows the people that it's just two or three easy steps before they make their purchase. I will select smaller, normal, and then your set. Again, here you could put some sidebar content. If you have set it up within the cart, just like I mentioned before, with the um, with the payment icons and the trust icons. 
if you already done that with the card icon meaning let me go back and select cards if you have set up something here then it will directly also be shown on the card page itself uh, let me go back and then last but not least is the after card content let me just put in some tests and here also test so one and two so you know where it's been placed so this is test one here it will be placed uh, for the card bar sidebar uh, content and here after card content you can also place content even UX blocks and we have done that with a different company here you can see what we have done is we have created two UX blocks saying there's no shipment uh, cost it's totally free and here if you ship before this specific time you will get it delivered next day so you could even emphasize it a little bit more showing your customer you know it's a great uh, it's a great service that you're offering. So um, that is the after card content. All right, done. Now the last step is of course the checkout experience. So let me go to checkout. And again, the reason why it looks so good is that we uh, created custom CSS that is available in the Access Plus area. So um, one of the main things that I directly always do is change, make sure that these label fields are inside the actual input fields and to do this is you need to enable float field labels so have a look again here as you can see first name is on top of the field but when I, whenever you enable this it will merge together and that will save a tremendous amount of space and it's just i think it's very beneficial for the conversion um, besides that i would definitely choose to go for the simple layout when you're in the checkout experience just go for it with simple because having the default layout again, people can again navigate, go and continue shopping again. But when they're in to do the checkout, I would say just let them not be distracted and focus on getting those fields filled out and do the purchase. All right, then there are some settings for privacy, policy and terms. I leave that up to you. Um, and then again, I would enable the sticky sidebar because especially on desktop, and I know we're all mobile uh, focused, but for desktop, you can see that this sidebar is staying sticky. So it doesn't me matter how much you scroll down, this will stay sticky on the right, meaning people can always fill out their card, their, you know, select their payment um, option and then place the order. Uh, you could also here uh, add a little bit more details to the sidebar content. So let me put again, test three in this case and then you can see you have some space here to put either your payment icons but I wouldn't really recommend because here you can see already that the payment options are available so I would rather say show your unique selling points so like free returns shipment uh, delivered next day uh, maybe put your trust pilot batch again uh, making uh, giving them even more trust to make the purchase eventually all right, uh, I think I've said enough. I think that covers everything. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any more uh, tips to optimize the checkout experience. I love to hear from you. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel to get more good stuff. 